Hello snooker fans, this is me Vilu Shultebe from the Snooker Pro Club channel and here we have an amazing talent, 14 years old, runner-up in the World Snooker Championship, Julian Boyko. Hello. Hi. So first of all I want to congrats with the amazing performance and uh, I know you since 7 years old and you had an amazing transformation, your game is completely different right now. Thank You're playing you. with the confidence, with no fear, and I will want to wish you keep continuing to do that. Yeah, thanks, I will. So tell me about your feelings about both snooker championships. Uh, what the most memorable moments, uh, like feelings you had during the championship? I felt amazing throughout the competition. I had a scrappy start in the group. I won first match 3-1, and second I was 2-0 uh, down, and then just uh, Turn around the match against a good player, won it 3 2, and after that, I started gaining confidence. Uh, just performed uh, like maybe 60% 60, 60 of my game, so I didn't play my best. But Okay, so but you play 60% of your game and you still manage to win matches like 3 0, 4 0, you know? Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I'm happy about the most. That uh, I didn't give it all, I didn't give it my best, but I still got through the final and uh, I know I have some, some yeah. things to work on, my, my safety game, my tactical okay. uh, shot selection, so I hope next time I'll win it. So that's great that your big game increased, because I know that you are a very good A game player and because when you're on the good wave, you know, you, it's hard to you know, beat you. And uh, yeah, and it seems like you are maturing as a player, you know, you're getting better and better. And perhaps, you know, tournament confidence is a big thing for you, you know? Yeah, that, that's what I'm uh, trying to improve the most, my B game and my C game. Because, yeah, I agree with you that when I like play my best, it's uh, anyone in that level who can make like yes. 50, 60 breaks when they play their A game, it's uh, impossible like to stop them. Great, great stuff. Okay, so can you share the moments which was for you most memorable, like, uh, I mean, successful moments when you put some uh, crucial ball or some, you know, the easy ball which you missed, maybe you remember the moment? Uh, I remember, of course, the easiest miss in the final against okay. uh, Ashley Hugel. It was just... Uh, can you show us, if yeah, you don't sure. mind? It was, uh, it was the first frame, so I... Snooker Basics video course is a snooker training material to help you transform your snooker game and take to another level. Improve aiming, overall technique, cubo control, rest plays, snooker escapes and make proper snookers. Interested? If yes, so don't wait and order a Snooker Basics video course today. Ashley breaks off, I put yes. a red, I yeah. split everything up, uh, uh -huh. make like a 17 break. And then the pink was on the black spot, and it was something like this, and I just uh, missed it. Yeah, but it, it has because you focused more about the position yeah, rather about the than position uh, on the next thread, and uh, okay. it, I also felt a little, a little bit of uh, pressure because it was the first frame, the opening frame yeah, I yeah. wanted to perform, but. Yeah, so I missed and Ashley made uh, 113, so... So, it's a, it's a reality, how, uh, professional reality, you know, when yeah. uh, such a caliber player like Ashley, he always takes his chances, because I know personally, Ashley personally, I was in Sheffield Academy as well, he's also like seven or eight hours, so he put some work and like you, so yeah, he's a very, very, very good player. And what was the positive moments, you know, during the championships? When I was 2-1 uh, up against uh, Ross Muir, yeah. uh, he made uh, 64. Yeah. Then he bought, bought the red and bought the white, so he made a foul. Oh yes, I remember that moment. He was, I think, 64 points leading and then you made 68 he, break. He went for maximum, maximum. Until, until that point, yeah. And so then, you basically you play from the bulk line? Yeah, and so it was like uh, open reds here, something like this. I don't yeah. uh -huh. remember and I put from the Yeah, you, diesel. Cut, you, you cut it here? Yeah, I cut here and I make uh, I made the 71 break and won the frame and uh, amazing, won the match. Amazing, amazing. Like you made the pressure clearance and that's great, you know, especially yeah, in the seven finals. I think that's the most uh, memorable shot. Yeah. 
during the championship you got many fans all around the world you know people are texting you saying that you are the new you know Ronnie O'Sullivan and because you playing so fast you exciting game and uh, many people want to see you in the main tour already right now so guys uh, text in the comments below if you think that Julian deserves to be in the main tour uh, hashtag Julian Boyko and uh, share plus text plus if you want to see Julian in the main tour so <laughs> yeah. yeah seriously you know your, your style is exciting because compared to other players which were in the championship they play more you know percentage game they play more slowly and you feel like with more freedom like with the fluency and this is what makes people watch yeah I think I'm, I'm really of course I'm really grateful to all the people who have messaged me and supported me throughout the championship and you know that's that's really amazing I I never hoped that I, I would get any kind of support like this I couldn't even uh, dream about it but yeah thanks to everyone but do you have to understand with the such a fan base comes pressure and yeah I, before every game I, I just try to forget about the people who are watching me or supporting me because uh, obviously you don't want to fail you know and that's uh, that's part of the game. You just have to accept that at some at some day, at some point, you'll uh, play bad, and yeah. there is nothing you can do about it. It's, uh, Ronnie sometimes have bad days. Trump, yes, Selby, yes. Everyone, everyone. Yes, everybody has uh, bad days, and it's nothing bad about that. Just you have to just deal with that. That is the reality, and you just keep moving forward and be more and try to be more consistent. You know. Yeah, that, more. That, that's why, as as I said before, that's. Uh, that's the reason why I try to improve my big game. Yeah. So, so if I if I don't play my best, I know what to do to win. Okay. So my question: You already said that you want to improve your, you know, safety, your break building, you know. So, but tell me, like, in your game, in your opinion, you know, you're such a good player. You make big breaks, you know. And uh, uh, what do you think? What you like the most right now? Because if you want to play safety, I know that you can play safety amazingly well, you know. But. But what do you think, what you need to do to get to that next level, that to be like a top guy, top dog? I think I need just to to turn the like 30, 40 breaks into winning breaks. Winning so breaks. instead of doing 30 or 40 when I get a nice position, I should like uh, split the balls better, try, try to control the cue ball better and uh, yes. make uh, winning breaks. Actually, there was a uh, match in this tournament uh, where I played uh, Sean Sullivan. Yes. And I have beaten him 3 0. Uh, made like 96, uh, 80, and 70 odd. And that's, that's, I think, in my opinion, that's how I should play every game if, if I improve my cue ball control. So he beat Sean Sullivan, an ex professional who played in the quarterfinals in the rating event. He beat him in 27 minutes, best of five frames. So you can imagine the average of the frame was nine minutes. So uh, I think only faster player who plays Tony Drago. Yeah, Tony Drago. Like long time ago. Yeah. So it's a good comparison, you know, Tony Drago, Yunan Boyko, you know. Yeah. We both from like non-snooker countries because in Malta, when Tony Drago was on tour, it wasn't like a snooker country. It was yeah. the same with me. Yeah. Now we are developing snooker, of course, but. Yeah. Uh, before I started playing, mm. nobody, yeah. nobody performed in the uh, world. Okay, so you had a huge success, but uh, you still want to be better. And tell me about your future practice plan for the next coming events, like to the Challenge Tour or European events. Uh, you know, how you, how, do you have any training program to keep improving all the time? Yeah, of course. Uh, after the tournaments, I always try to analyze and to to improve my weak sides, and of course, don't forget about my uh, positive sides. You know, so I won't stop practicing long potting and uh, break building. Uh, and I think the most like important thing in my game is that I do good recovery shots and. 
this just helps me like perform better even if i lose the white ball i always box. yeah and this is uh, the attribute of the good player they are capable even when they have a tough situation you know they are capable to do a recovery shots and keep continuing the break and yeah. it's uh, you know it's a very rare really, really quality even for the professionals because you know you know they it, it obvious so it shows your ability to play certain shots yeah. than, better than others hope I'll uh, transform it into something more, you know, and become a complete player. Yeah, well, it's going to be interesting, like, next two, three years, how your game is going to develop, because you, you're getting to the, you're getting, you know, matured, and uh, your game is a little bit more, how to say, like an artist, you know, you're getting better safety, you're getting better snooker escapes, and everything else gets, you know, yeah, good. Yeah. So I think... Also, the most important is to never stop enjoying because if you put too much pressure on yourself and uh, uh, you're only thinking of winning tournaments and always yeah. beating top players. You could be crazy a bit, you know, about that. Yeah, the most important is when you play, just enjoy it. Okay, thanks for the interview. And the last thing, what you can wish for other players who are like the uh, same age, who are want to get better, you know, what you can... Uh, what is your personal wish for the players who want to be professionals like you? What you can say for them? Uh, the most important thing is to practice uh, hard and to practice the right things. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very wise words. Uh, don't keep it for granted. Here was Julian Boyko running up in the World Snooker Championship. I believe the future mentor guy in few years, Max. And uh, you know, you know, we're gonna see this guy a lot in the future. And thanks a lot. And guys, if you like this video, please subscribe and share your thoughts about what do you think about Julian Boyko performance about World Snooker Championship. And if you are new to the, the channel, uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see consistent videos like this. So thanks you again and. See you very soon on yeah. other videos. Yeah. Take Thank care. You. Bye bye.